Good evening. Today is about John Lukacs. He was a Hungarian-American historian. And within the 20th century and even going on to the early 21st century, he wrote about 30 books on European topics. And he came over here from... Um, Hungary because of the communism that was going on in that state. And um, like I said, he wrote many great books, uh, about 30 of them on European topics. I won't list all of them. Um, but in one of my former MA classes on historical method, Professor John Lukacs gave a lecture of his life and his teaching, um, his teaching methods on history. Um, and so he provides some insights about what history is and, um, his methods of writing history. Um, some of the statements by him I'll, I'll read to you. Quote, history is necessarily narrative, but that which also is plausible and an impression of truth. This statement gives us a picture of what history is. A truthful story. Quote, Follow your curiosity, your imagination, and the pursuit of knowledge. End quote. The statement by Luke Acts tells us that the listener or reader that according to um, his statement, the pursuit of knowledge should come from the faculties of curiosity, perplexity, and imagination. Quote, the main subject of intelligent history, a true reconstruction or re true reconstructed story of the past, does not deal with periods of time, but problems. In a strict sense, it should be mentioned that attention to the time period in which one studies is crucial for truth. Um, just as humanists, Italian humanists, and the um, mid-16th century uh, had the innovations of textual criticism. Um, and not only that, but I'm going to quote a recent book that I read um, where it states that the humanist had discovered the concept of cultural context and anachronism as well, although not fully developed to what we have now. And so Lukacs, in this quote, points out that even though changes in time are important, a historian should primarily focus on solving problems, seeking to answer perplex questions. He also said, quote, that historians are curious. Historians are thinkers, thinking thinkers who strive to identify, analyze, and solve problems, end quote. He mentions that concerning writing history, that it should be sparked by a pursuit of knowledge, by the faculty of curiosity, and primarily a truthful narrative that solves a perplexing problem. So that's what we have up to this point. Key elements of his teaching, I'm going to list about uh, 18 of them. Number one, history is a form of thinking, thinking historically. Two, History is the remembered past. Three, history is all we know. Since the pres present is always happening, the past is always occurring, the present is always fleeting, and the future is always unknown. So, three, um, history is all we know. Four, we are all historians by nature and scientists by choice. Five, history belongs to the public. Six, history is about humanity, about individuals and groups that make choices. Seven, history is not a philosophy. We are not to formulate an ideology before confronting good history. Eight, Ideology cannot be avoided, but should be kept in check, since it seeks to propose an answer before the evidence is given. 
It should not be obsessed with an ism. Nine, allegiance to nationalism above the sovereignty of the people is destructive. And, of course, Luke Acts experienced that living in a communist country. Um, so many people that live in democratic countries are very privileged and a lot of times don't really necessarily think about um, how the damage that a communist society um, experiences. Um, the next is that um, history is by nature participant. It is an art, not a science. Uh, 13. The historical discipline of, of correctly reconstructing the past helps us get closer to the truth. Um, fifth, four, oh, 14. An obsession with objectivity can lead a people to crown, for example, science as an arbiter of all true knowledge beyond what it can actually deliver. 15. History is about the action and interaction of individual beings and collected groups. 16. History is complex and needs to be interpreted from many perspective angles, which I'll do a talk in the next video about um, the differences between empirical history or empiricist history and dialectic or so empir empiric uh, empiricism history and dialectism history dialecticism history um, and why one should necessarily use a empiricism in regards to history as opposed to a dial dialectic form of history um, seven, um, teen, 17, um, moral imagination, moral imagination is key to the interpretation of history. Unlike Rossio's idyllic imagination, of course, Edmund Burke seems to think this way, um, in saying that moral imagination over idyllic imagination Moral imagination is actually paying attention to the multifaceted reality of human existence and expression. Um, so, that's also another topic to discuss, is the idyllic imagination and the moral imagination. Um, Luke X, John Luke X also stated that, quote, the vast expanse of humanity is important to understand in the context of human experience as we try to discover more on what it means to engage and learn from the past. End quote. This statement emphasizes that experiences matter and engagement matters. Learning about people matters. Learning about why their experiences matter. Why learning lessons about their desires, their motives, their drives, and their actions matters. That their ideas matter. And that curious and perplexing questions of mind consciousness matters. When a person studies history, a correct reconstruction of past events, hopefully a correct history, uh, they are asking questions, i.e., what was this particular thing doing in this place and time? How was this particular thing doing this particular thing in this particular place at this particular time? Why was this particular thing doing a particular thing at a particular time in a particular place? The ultimate question is, of course, as a philosopher, why is this peculiar thing doing a peculiar thing at a peculiar time in a peculiar place? Um, and why is anything peculiar to us in the first place? Why is anything peculiar at all? But what a historian does in writing down a truth or reconstruction of the past is simply to acquire about places, about subjects, events, people, the lives of people, um, experiences, discoveries, inventions, and a, an ultimate attempt to find out answers to perplexing questions that stem from human curiosity.